Lars Schaumann, CEO of Tuholais Pulvalut in Finland, one of the most innovative companies in Finland. Uh, you are probably very well known to a lot of people watching here because you travel the world for new innovative solutions. Uh, thanks for your time, Lars. Great to have you here. Good to be here. <laughs> so Thank first you. question, you, you told me about a few interesting things, uh, especially during Corona. A bit of your strategy as uh, the manager of your company has changed a bit. So maybe you can tell us what exactly changed and why. Well, basically, my, my, my whole way of thinking how to provide service for the clients during these kind of uh, difficult times when we have clients that we can't provide the service, we can't enter their facilities uh, because of the pandemic. So we need to figure out how we can still keep up the good level of service, even though we aren't there. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, it leads us to digital uh, pest control, rodent control, uh, because what we usually uh, in our business are doing is we are reporting what's happening in, in, in the controlling, not so much doing the work because the de devices we are using are doing the work true. and we are only like measuring and reporting it. That's true. So yeah. therefore, uh, do we really need to be there all the time? Probably not. And if needed, then uh, we can arrange it in some way that we can go there. But mainly uh, the remote control and uh, digital control is, is obviously the solution in the future. Pretty cool. I mean, um, I know you from way back and I know you were one of the first always who had the newest gadgets and bits uh, when digital pest control, I don't know, almost 10 years ago wasn't a big thing. You digitized incrementally your complete company when it came to documentation or traps or whatever. Um, so it's probably very interesting for you to take that decision even stronger because you have customers that are analog and customers that are digital, right? Yes. And therefore, I'm, I'm strongly um, thinking about uh, turning all my clients to digital and to non-toxic pest control in the near future. Wow. In, in all, type of, all type of pest control, not only rodent control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, all. sustainability is uh, also SEPA's biggest uh, goal for this and next yeah. year's uh, within the new Memorandum of Understanding. But another very interesting thing I think about uh, pest control in Finland is that you um, are allowed to also shoot rodents, uh, which you do. You said you go the extra mile, and this is a very interesting service that is very effective, right? It is, it is. In cases where uh, the rodents have already enough cover in the facility or food sources like waste area, uh, garbage, uh, or maybe some other food sources, why in the world would they go into the box? Even though we have like a very... Um, Attractive. Very good. Uh, yeah, attractive, uh, like baits. But no, they have they have food. They have uh, cover. Mm -hmm. So we need to get them the other way. We, we use traps. We shoot. But of course, every time we we have to uh, be sure that it's done safely, that yeah. no one gets harmed. And of course, in, in not at daytime, because mm -hmm. well, of course the rodents aren't that much moving at daytime, but mainly mainly at night times, and sometimes they create fascinating uh, fascinating meetings with the law enforcement when they come and check what is <laughs> going on here. Of course, we inform. We inform the, the authorities first that, hey, we are going to do this and this. But sometimes police come and check, well, what are you guys really doing here? <laughs> and that is uh, always uh, 
quite exciting. Yeah, no, I believe you. No, thank you for sharing this story. I've seen more and more physical control with uh, weapons um, yeah. being used in pro professional countries in Finland, in the UK. So yeah, interesting message. Uh, Lars, thank you so much for your few minutes and your insights and your business. Thank you. Thanks.